Evo Morales' victory in the presidential elections more than five years ago offered the prospect of change for Bolivia's indigenous peoples. But the election of Jorge Medina, the first black deputy into government, doesn't yet signal the acceptance of black people in the country. According to the UN's High Commissioner for Human Rights, Navi Pile, Bolivians of African descent still find themselves living on the sidelines of society. They are an extremely vulnerable group, denied rights, they are invisible in this country. Their past is even more tortuous than the indigenous populations because their ancestors were brought here forcibly as slaves. And some of the badges of slavery still linger in, in their lack of rights and opportunities and the way they are treated. The United Nations has designated 2011 as the International Year for People of African Descent. The year aims at strengthening the integration of people of African descent into all aspects of society, protecting their rights and promoting greater knowledge and respect for their diverse heritage and culture. But Jorge Medina says racism remains a part of the daily life of many Afro-Bolivians. If there is a job, they do not receive us and tell us that the post has been taken already. When we meet non-Afro friends afterwards, they tell us that the post is still vacant. They do not consider us for our qualifications, but for the color of our skin. Afro-Bolivians descend from slaves brought from Africa in the 16th century. They were sent to the mines of Bolivia and later the sugar plantations of Los Yungas, a semi-tropical region about three hours from the capital, La Paz. Today, the estimated 25,000 Afro-Bolivians living in these valleys are a largely forgotten community who sorely lack schools, health care and basic services such as electricity and water. Many hope the election of Mr Medina is the first step in realising their rights, ending years of discrimination. Now we have hope, with our deputy from our own community who supports us and does good things. That's why we have hope. Every Friday, Jorge Medina mixes the sounds of Africa with political rhetoric, using his radio program to speak about issues affecting the Afro-Bolivian community. I'm very optimistic. We've already taken the first step, and now we're like a brickless train. We won't stop until we get our rights respected. When the 2001 national census asked Bolivians to identify their ethnicity, Afro-Bolivians were forced to tick other. Now that they finally have political representation, it's hoped their next victory will be inclusion in the census. That would signal a step towards formal recognition in Bolivian society, a trigger for more social and economic opportunities for their community.